Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is a general message. Take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't fit. If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. We're going to pull from the Message of Love Oracle cards and see what we've got coming through. For Scorpio, forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Getting heavy fed up friend vibes. Unavailable in reverse. Something is now available. Something is now worthy. I'm getting that something wasn't as bad as it seemed. But when the emotions were really like at an all-time high with this situation, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't pretty. But things have really calmed down since then. Or someone has really calmed down, grounded themselves, worked on their stability, morals and values. I'm also getting someone's worked on their credit here. Balance. One person was giving too much. It's spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a lesson. Making yourself unavailable until people are available to receive whatever it is that you are willing to give, willing to share. I'm getting somebody wasn't ready for your advice and it caused a rift between you two. But later on, they did end up utilizing that advice and it did help them. They just weren't ready for it. It's almost like when you see someone in a really toxic situation and you try to explain to them why you don't like this relationship that they're in and why you feel it's toxic and why you're worried about them. Well, they haven't seen the flare-ups yet. So, um, and they don't wanna believe it. But then it happens and they have to do what they have to do and that's when they can utilize the information but not until they're actually ready to utilize it right so maybe um maybe they felt like you were crossing a line or the other way around maybe you thought they were crossing a line right but somebody thought the other was crossing a line and was like you know what you're not supportive of this you need to just go but now they're realizing what was going on and they're feeling a little bit upset and sorry about the fact that um, they were too close to the situation to, to, to understand what it was, the information they were receiving from an outside perspective. So we have forgiveness and now availability, right? And then balance with spiritual lesson. I think you're both learning a few things about what happened here. It's a different lesson for you than it is for this person. Like you both had completely different lessons in this situation. The one person, their lesson was in, um, sorry, I just had like a total blank. That was so weird. I was gonna explain the lessons, right? I guess you get it. Maybe I don't have to explain it. This person had a lesson with that karmic individual. And maybe you had a lesson in patience with other people as they were trying to be patient with that. Oh, yeah, page of cups in reverse. We're no longer confused. We get it, makes sense. Why? Because we sat down and talked about it. Sit down with this person and explain. All right, well, this is where I was coming from. Get that off your chest and then they're going to explain their point of view so now you can understand where everybody was coming from and why things went the way they did and people did what they did you know yeah three of cups the emperor exactly you guys are going to come together sit down and really air it out put it all out there for everyone to see clear the air we have aries and taurus out here so far 
Pisces, High Priestess. Yeah, these are things you didn't know because it was sideways. There's things you didn't know. There's things you didn't say, both of you. So sitting down and really letting things flow, talking about, yeah. Yep. This is going to really, wow. I think this is going to impact both of your lives in ways that you don't realize yet. But positive. Very, very positive here. Yeah, working together here. I like it. I like it a lot, Scorpio. Whoa. Eight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. And there's the Three of Pentacles still. Yeah, so the things you didn't know, the things you didn't say, the things you didn't hear, all that stuff is getting solved. Yep, with this one little conversation, this one moment. Yeah, wow. Hierophant and the Empress. That is one of the strongest connections possible. I'm telling you, you and this person might end up being besties. We're back together. I don't think it's like that, though. I think these are besties that try to have each other's back and somebody felt unsupported. They were super triggered and took it out on you. You know, I do want to throw this out there. I've noticed. I don't say it very often. But people tend to go harder on the ones that they're closest to because... I think in the back of our minds, that's the first person that we're going to forgive or that'll forgive us. So without realizing it, when we're upset and we're going crazy, getting something, venting, getting something off our chest, venting, um, the people we love the most, that we, we can actually be comfortable expressing this in front of, sometimes when their opinion is different than ours, it can really just suck. So I'm really glad that you guys are clearing the air with this person here, Scorpio, whoever this is. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's a tarot reader here. Or they watch tarot readings. Maybe they watch your readings. Yeah, and you guys are going to be really, really shook about the things you didn't know. But everybody's walking away from this unscathed. This is problem solving. I'm not even getting the, a weird tension here. It's like everybody can just sit down and say what they need to say and it actually goes really smooth. There's not any awkward moments in it other than the initial, hey, how are you? How are things? Let's go ahead and let's talk about this. Let's get it out of the way. You know, what happened? What, what was that about? You know, can we, can we clear the air? Can we get that out of the way? And then I miss your face, bitch. Like, fuck. <laughs> 808 on the timestamp there. Interesting. Interesting. We have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles working on the confusion, the illusions, the things that didn't make sense, working on the stuff that has been brushed and pushed to the back burner, behind the scenes, the back of our mind. Yeah, this is cleaning up residual energy. Um, so we've got Libra, Taurus, Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, a lot of Taurus on the board. I'm going to leave this one here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.